My name is Brain of Terror and I'm an NSO Dublin Roller Derby. In this video we're going to look at team colours and names. So here it's black v white which is, you know, fine for a scrimmage, but let's just say this is actually D or D A versus D or D B. So this name here, which is what will appear in the list here, is the default name which is going to be used everywhere. Now normally I will make a few changes to this for the sake of readability. So from the main screen, hey, there's the RD day, and I might do DRD A black and DRD B blue. So this is just a personal preference thing, so I can remember which team is which. And how this is implemented is just some alternate names here. So operator is DRD blue. Now it might turn out for the scoreboard, on the scoreboard display, I might want something a little more visible. And I can adjust that as I want. And similarly then for the A team, I want my something I want a little different for the scoreboard, just so it's more readable to the audience. E. Uh, something else you might do is if you have logos, hey, there's a logo. Now the problem with having a logo and a name is they're kind of makes the name small. But it could be the case that the logo is good enough you don't need the name, in which case we can explicitly make it empty, and now we just have the logo with no name. Or we do that. Keep in mind readability. Uh, the other place you have a name is for Twitter. So you might want to use a hashtag there or an ash or something if you're using just Twitter controls. That lets you control it. And there's also overlay, we'll cover that in a different video. So there's our names. Uh, the other thing then is colors. So you can go a bit crazy here, but operator. So I've said that this is a black versus white game. So as the operator, what I might do, now I should note these color teams will look different depending on what browser you're using. This is Chrome, it looks grand. Uh, Firefox would look different. Grand, that's selected. And now if I go over to my operator controls, hey, it's black, pretty obviously. And uh, my current team two. Add some operator colors. I'm going to do a blue background. Oh, blue background. And a white foreground, just to make sure we've got a nice bit of contrast. So this is a personal preference thing. So I am much more likely because I've got the word written and I have a color here that it's much more obvious to me as the scoreboard operator, which team is which. So I've got a nice name that I'm going to refer to because if I had the full Dublin Roller Derby B team, that's a little long, it end up smaller. So my personal preference is normally to do something like this because I find it easier. Similarly on the scoreboard itself, I can go and change my colors. So I can go to scoreboard and I can say, actually, let's do the same thing and have a blue background and on white. Now, this may not be visible on a projector. So be careful when using this. Like if I was to try and do black on that, that's unlikely to be visible from a distance. Or I might try doing black on blue that way. That's also not visible. So just keep in mind, uh, visibility is important, but you can tweak these things if you want to try and give some hint to the audience as to which color is which, because it's not always completely obvious. Uh, there is another setting here for scoreboard dots. You can actually control the color of these dots. And uh, this is the foreground, I believe. See, so yeah, it's changed to green. I strongly recommend, presuming this feature doesn't exist, always have them black because it is not readable otherwise. The other thing to be aware then, uh, with all these operator settings, if I go to penalty tracking, it will show the names and colors that have been selected by the scoreboard operator. So be aware, anything you set can be seen by other NSOs. Anything then which is more visible externally is going to use the exact same as the scoreboard, so everything's lined up. So there are your colors and names.